All right, now um, let's see. I had a I had a Sunday strip here. I wanted to uh, I wanted to tackle. Let me just I got to go through my filing system here. Uh, <laughs> Sunday's, uh, let's see, Gasoline Alley. Okay, here's one. So, um, this is one I scanned a long time ago. Goodness only knows, uh, well, actually, I can figure it out. Um, I scanned back in 2003. And as you can see, uh, it's, it's not too bad looking. Um, it's a little noisy with this mess here. So, uh, it looks like I've, you know, it actually looks like I might have clean this up at one time, but let's just see, there's um, there's a thing called Auto Smart Fix, and it takes a second, and see, it, it darkened it up a little bit, but then you can see some of the background noise here, so at that point you might want to go to your levels and, you know, lighten it up a little bit uh, to, where, to the point where you can see your whites are white and um, and then, uh, you know, maybe maybe darken it up a little bit just to bring the colors back in there and see if that's okay. Uh, again, it's at that setting where it, it isn't that good looking, but okay, now we can see what the strip looks like. I mean, whether or not that's good enough for you, uh, you can certainly see there's, uh, there's some noise over here that I didn't get rid of in the process. It's kind of a... You know, every unfortunately every page is a little bit different. Um, let me see if I can find one in that same file that um, isn't cleaned up already. Uh, no, not slide scans. What am I doing? Uh, scan funnies. Uh, Sundays. No, these look really dark, so chances are... Okay, here's a Tiny Tim that I had scanned. And let's see what that one looks like. All right, now you can see that one's pretty dark. And uh, let me just bump that up a notch so it looks nicer, uh, just to give you an idea. Now, here's here's another trick you can do. Okay, you can, again, you can do the Auto Smart Fix and see what it see what it does. Sometimes it, it, that works, and, you know, maybe you don't want to go any further than that. Uh, but let's let's just try to do it by hand a little bit. Uh, undo the smart fix, uh, enhance lighting levels, and now you got these three uh, tools over here. You got your black point, your uh, white point, and your gray point. So I'm going to go with the white point. I'm going to say, hey, look, I want this white area. I, I want this what's supposed to be white to be white, and see what that does. And there it goes. Yeah, see, now it's lightened it up considerably. Uh, you might want to darken that up just a little bit for to bring the color back into it. But again, they're not a bad looking, uh, not a bad looking strip. Now at this point, it's looking a little fuzzy, and sometimes you can. Oh gosh, it's been so long since I did this. Um, filter view select. Filter, uh, blur, sharpen. Okay. Gosh, I'm sorry. It's been a long time since I did this, but uh, I want to sharpen. And it usually comes up with a window that shows me, so let me undo that. Um, filter. Unsharp mask. And hmm, it doesn't seem to help a whole lot. Uh, sharpen edges, maybe. No, it doesn't seem to be affecting it too much, so that may not be something that uh, is going to work for us. But I, you know, I have done that in the past, and it seems to. Uh, Seems to have helped me out. Hmm. I'm I'm used to seeing a little box pop up that says you know it's going to sharpen it by you know 30 percent or something like that, and I'm not seeing that, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. So 
at this point. Uh, that may be the other program I use, though. I use another program to, you know, make this strip smaller. Now, this one has been trimmed. I don't know if I did that at the time I scanned it or what, but uh, if I like the colors, and I think I'd like a little bit more um, color in here. So I'm going to go to Enhance, Lighting, Levels, and, uh, you know, brighten it up a little bit and darken it up a little bit. And it seems to... Okay, now the brightening up is 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 killing the uh, the yellow here, so I'm going to go back on that and let that alone, and, and but just darken it just a shade, you know, just just a little bit to to bring out the color. Now the other thing you can do too is you can you can pick your different channels, you know, like like for instance red. Maybe you want your reds to be darker or lighter. You know, I can lighten up my reds. Of course, the problem is is it lightens up all the reds. So if you know if a, if a color has any red in it whatsoever. It's going to change that, as you can see. Um, you know, it, it brings the whole thing red. So that's something I would only do if really, really need be. I mean, I, I just prefer to do the whole, the whole thing and, and let it go at that. So, yeah, that's it. So let me save that uh, file. Save as you know, it's got the same name and everything. But I'm going to save it to the desktop so that I can uh, I can access it really quickly. Uh, to do the next step. All right, uh, get rid of that, and I'll hide that. All right, my next step. Uh, here's my Tiny Tim. Is to open the Tiny Tim in uh, Graphic Converter. Uh, you don't have to do this. I just find the Graphic Converter gives me a better, um, better sizing. I guess is what I want to say. Um, so I want to change the picture size. Uh, right now, as you can see, oh, it's okay. This was in the days when I used to scan at 200 dots per inch. I, I now scan at 300, but I don't want it to be that big. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna limit the screen size to uh, 1500. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna change the uh, yeah. I'm gonna change this to 150 DPI because that's more than enough. For our JPEG, and uh, I forgot to. It's a two-step process. Um, picture size scale. Okay, so I'm going to go 150 DPI, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this more like a screen size. So I'm going to limit it to a width of 1500 pixels, and it's going to change the size. As you can see now here, as it reduces, it's it's a little blurry, and this is what I was talking about. The um, uh, th this is the program I was using to sharpen things a little bit. I just used the sharpen edge tool, and it's at 30 percent. And you you might be able to see the difference here. You might not be able to, but watch the actual artwork itself. It just it gets it a little crisper, and it just sharpens the uh, the edges of things, and just makes it a little crisper to look at, you know. So now I just want to fa save as. Uh, that's at the size. That's 100%. That's the size that's going to show up. This is on a, an iMac with a 21-inch screen or 22, whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And ah, I almost threw it into another file. I'm going to put it on the desktop. Save. I, I save at 50% quality because it seems to look just fine, and it makes the, the file smaller. So that's it. Uh, that's what I did with Graphic Converter. Um, so now the um, the TIFF file is 15.1 megabytes. The file that I'm going to show share is 396 kilobytes. So I could probably put several of these in one um, one email and uh, let it go at that. So those are just some tips. Those are just some of the things I do. Um, I'm by far no expert. Um, you know, other folks may have better ways to do things. So I'm just sharing what I do, and hopefully other folks will do the same thing, and maybe I'll learn a few things too. All right, well, that's it.